Apple is going to use Tesla's Megapack batteries at its California solar farm and Apple's new energy storage project is built around Tesla's technology. Welcome back dear friends, this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage and also please like this video and give us thumbs up if you find it uh, informative. Sean O'Kane from The Verge has some details saying Apple announced Wednesday that it's building a big battery storage project at a North California solar farm it spearhead in 2015. But what the company did not share is that the battery packs will come from Tesla. The Verge has learned. I checked uh, Apple's announcement and yes, there was no word about Tesla, but The Verge says they are coming. The battery technology, the mega pack is coming from Tesla. So the newly announced setup which will store up to 240 megawatt hours of energy was approved by the Monterey County uh, Board of Supervisors in 2020 according to documents submitted last year. It will consist of 85 Tesla lithium-ion megapacks and be used to help power the company's corporate headquarters in Cupertino. Monterey County's uh, planning chief confirmed that Apple will use the Tesla battery in an email to The Verge. Apple declined to comment. Tesla did not respond to a request for comment. But if The Verge has an uh, uh, email from the Monterey County's planning chief confirming that Apple will use the Tesla batteries. That's already uh, very um, reliable and solid information. Tesla first announced the Megapack battery system back in 2019, friends. The 60 megawatt storage setup Apple will be using is not Tesla's biggest though. Uh, the Verge says that the company has built bigger overall battery storage solutions in Australia and Torquay news has reported reported it you can find it in our channel and south of houston texas of around 100 megawatt in size still apple tooted it as one of the largest battery projects in the country as a press release in a press release saying the battery system could power more than 7,000 homes for a whole day the tesla batteries will make it possible for apple to store energy generated by its 130 megawatt solar array at the farm which is called california floods the challenge with clean energy solar and wind is that it's by definition intermittent. Apple VP uh, Lisa Jackson, Lisa Jackson told Reuters on Wednesday. Here's a quote. If we can do it and we can show that it works for us, it takes away the concerns about intermittency and it helps the grid in terms of stabilization. It's something that can be imitated or built upon by other companies. While Apple uses lithium-ion batteries in many of its products, it's not known to be working on any grid-scale projects. The company is reportedly developing a lithium-ion phosphate battery, uh, lithium-iron phosphate battery. These are the LFP batteries that I covered yesterday for its electric car project, though. So keep in mind that Tesla is already uh, already has. Uh, LFP batteries in its uh, standard uh, 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 standard range plus in uh, uh, Model 3s in China. Uh, those batteries are coming from App, uh, Cattle, the Chinese battery company. And the company, uh, Apple, is reportedly developing its own lithium iron, uh, lithium iron phosphate battery for its electric uh, car project. Apple and Tesla don't have much overlapping history, though each company is notorious for poaching talent from the other. Tesla CEO Elon Musk also said in December that he tried to pitch the idea of Apple buying his company back in 2018, but that Apple CEO Tim Cook refused to take the meeting. Tesla is best known for its electric cars, but it spent years trying to build up an energy storage business to complement the solar products it acquired when it bought SolarCity. 
it has gotten increasingly involved in large-scale energy storage projects like Apple's over the years in addition to its home battery business. While it's still modest compared to the billions of dollars generated by Tesla's car business, the energy storage division's products has already netted at least one other strange uh, bedfellow customer in 2019. Volkswagen announced it was using Tesla's batteries at some of its electric America charging stations. So Apple Energy Storage 230 uh, is making progress. It's a program that had for 230. And in its uh, press release, Apple says, Apple is constructing one of the largest battery projects in the California, in the country, California Flats, and industry-leading uh, grid-scale energy storage project capable of storing 240 megawatt hours of energy, enough to power over 7,000 homes for one day. The project supports the company's 130 megawatt solar farm that provides all of its renewable energy in California by storing excess energy generated during the day and deploying it when it is most needed. Wind and solar power provide the most cost-effective new uh, source of uh, electricity to many parts of the world, but the intermittent nature of these technologies has presented an obstacle to widespread adoption, friends. One solution to intermittency is energy storage, which can retain generated energy until it is needed, the excess energy. Apple is investing in utility-scale storage in California and research into new energy storage technologies, even as it builds upon distributed storage capabilities in Santa Clara Valley and through Apple's Park Microgrid. Overall, Apple has seen consistent reductions in its carbon footprint even as net revenue increased. The company's footprint has decreased by 40%, marking steady progress toward its 230, uh, uh, the year 200, uh, 2030 target, and it has avoided more than 15 million metric tons of emissions through initiatives to use low carbon materials, drive energy efficiency, and switch to clean energy. Uh, Tisai Aragai from Torque News uh, Tesla Reporter says Tesla's Megapack is the largest, most convenient, and cheapest industrial-sized energy storage solution. According to Elon Musk, the cost of a Megapack is less than $200 per kilowatt hour or approximately $300 kilowatt hour with power, electronics, and servicing included. Megapacks also significantly reduce the complexity of large-scale battery storage and provide an easy installation and connection and connecting um, process. Each mega pack comes from the factory fully assembled with up to 30 megawatt hour of storage, actually three megawatt hour of storage and 1.5 megawatt of inverted uh, inverter capacity. Apple says currently renewable sources of energy provide the most cost effective new source of electricity to many parts of the world. However, the intermittent nature of the wind and solar power stands uh, as an obstacle to their widespread adoption. So uh, this is where the Elon Musk's Megapack come to help. This is a sentiment also shared by Elon Musk. Musk believes the cost of solar panels has gone low enough to support their mass adoption. The only thing left is large-scale battery storage. It's nice to see two of the most influential technology companies working together, Apple and Tesla, to clean up the grid. However, their cooperation might not last forever, uh, says Tinsai Aregai from Torque News Tesla reporter. He says, there are rumors Apple is looking to get into the electric car market. Like I said a little bit ago, the Apple apparently reportedly is also working on its own LFP battery. The reports have come from several sources claiming to have talked to unnamed individuals who have knowledge how knowledge have knowledge uh, of Apple's plans when exactly Apple plans to launch its electric vehicle is still unknown however when it does Apple car is surely going to be compared to Tesla vehicles the automotive market is large enough friends to support both companies and even more startups in the electric vehicle market still both companies are used to being the uncontested leaders in their respective uh, areas so in their respective words, technology and cars. It will interesting. It will be interesting to 
see which company will come ahead when their worlds merge. So what do you think, friends? Let us know, please. Uh, are, are you excited the Apple and Tesla? Are you excited that the Apple and Tesla are working together? Do you think the two companies should work together on more projects? How will that affect the costs and competition and the monopoly issues? And also... Uh, if Apple uh, ends up coming up with an electric vehicle, do you think it could bat, uh, be better than Tesla cars? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below, please. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please subscribe to our channel uh, for daily breaking Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my coverage. And please like this video and give us thumbs up if you found it informative uh, as we can put it in front of more people. Have a great day. God bless you, everyone. See you soon in our next report in an hour.